this is, happens very often on necklines. It's where the rib on the neckline, the thread holding the rib on, comes apart. So you end up with an unravelling neckline like that, which isn't a good look. So I'm going to demonstrate and tell you a little bit about how it's constructed. First of all, I'm going to secure the thread on the inside of the jumper. Now I am using the same colour thread, but I'm also going to use it double thickness. And that's because I want to keep a bit more strength. I'm going to tuck the knitting between the ribs. And that's how it's constructed, that's how the garment's made. So from the back, I'm going to take the thread through to the front. There we are, it's come through. But now I'm going to put it through the loop, a loop. So that loop's obviously, one of them is broken. A loop on the bottom of the rib. And this is the rib. So I'm going to put it through the loop and then take it back to the other side. Then come up again to the top. You know, I'm not, I don't care really where I come up as long as it's close to the rib. Tuck the cloth under, fold it down and pick up the rib again. There we are. It's not gonna undo because I've picked up through a loop that hasn't come apart. There we are, pulling my thread tight. And then catch a floating loop down again. Back onto the inside. Make sure the inside cloth is tucked up. Come up again to the top. Go through a rib and go back down. Tuck it under again. Catch a rib. There. Go under. Now I'm nearly at the end of my mend because it actually wasn't very long. There we are. It's all caught. And I'm going to trim this thread. I'm just going to grab my trimmer, so hang on a second. I'm going to trim on the inside there, but also, can you see where there's this surplus thread here that came undone? It's wool, it's wool. So I'm going to just trim that little bit off so it tidies it up, and that's the mend. So a jumper that had become unwearable is now wearable again, and I think that took three minutes.